What's up, bud? It's Rob. This is Apparel Success, and in this video right now, what I want to do is start out by showing you that I got a new backdrop that I'll be shooting all of these videos in front of here because we had to move some inventory around, so from now on I'm going to be shooting in front of all the inventory. It's just how she goes. And in this video, what I want to talk to you about is the four most common mistakes that I see clothing brand owners making on a daily basis, all right? This video here is going to be like swallowing a red pill, and the red pill is basically where you're going to be exposed to the brutal truths of reality in terms of how things actually work, okay? Because I found that most people are sort of stuck in this blue pill philosophy where they have sort of these delusional viewpoints of how to run a clothing brand or what it takes to run a successful clothing brand, okay? So what I'm gonna do instead is sort of give you this red pill philosophy, show you how things actually work here, and I think it's gonna really, really open your eyes and help you avoid making some huge mistakes as you run your clothing brand. I'm really excited, let's do it. Hey, if you couldn't have guessed it, this video here is sponsored by my buds over at Design Crowd. And if you need designs made for your clothing brand, I highly recommend you check out Design Crowd. Design Crowd is a website that helps entrepreneurs crowdsource amazing designs from designers all around the world. For a special $100 VIP offer for apparel success viewers only, head over to www.designcrowd.com forward slash apparel to learn more or simply use the discount code apparel when you post a project on Design Crowd. All right, so let's jump into these four common mistakes that I see clothing brand owners making on a daily basis, all right? Mistake number one, the most common mistake probably, is clothing brand owners investing in way too much inventory from the very beginning. And I realize this is ironic shooting this and explaining this in front of a whole rack of inventory here, but we didn't start off with this much inventory, okay? We grew our clothing brand to this point. And I don't want you starting out your clothing brand when say you've got you know $5,000 and you invest all $5,000 in inventory at the beginning, okay? Because what you wanna do is you want to be testing the market before you start investing in the market, okay? So you wanna be testing out products, not investing in a lot of inventory, get the lowest minimum order quantity possible when you're first starting out so that you can test your shirts out, see how well they do, before you start investing, you know, thousands of dollars in inventory that you can't sell, okay? So that's mistake number one, is just don't, no matter what, invest in way too much inventory off the bat until you know that that item that you're investing in will actually sell with your market. All right, the second biggest mistake that I see clothing brand owners making on a daily basis is that their clothing brand concept is too general and it's not unique enough, okay? On a daily basis, I see clothing brand owners that are just doing things that have been done before, and the worst part about this is that they have no idea, okay? They're sort of in this delusion, this blue pill thinking that their clothing brand is super special and that there's something unique about it, okay? I want you to really look yourself in the mirror here, and that's the whole you know, that's probably the biggest aspect of running a successful business is being honest with yourself, okay? Because the market doesn't lie. The market is a very, very harsh reality, okay? If it doesn't sell, it's for real reasons, okay? And there's no delusion that you wanna be, you know, approaching the market with. You wanna have a very, very real perspective towards it. Now, the third most common mistake that I see clothing brand owners making on a daily basis is they don't have an overall game plan for how they're actually going to go about growing their business, okay? Generally, most clothing brand owners think that they're going to grow sporadically in big bursts at a time, and most clothing brand owners just simply aren't patient enough, okay? So you need a game plan, you need an actual you know, strategy for how you're gonna grow over time, even if it's slowly over time, as long as you're growing like this, that's all that matters, right? Whereas most clothing brand owners are just sort of throwing darts and their clothing brand just stays like this. Whereas if you have something in place that allows you to grow slowly over time, you're on the right track and you're doing something right, okay? So have a game plan. Think about how you're actually gonna grow steadily over time rather than just sort of, you know, getting lucky every once in a while and for the most part just standing still and not growing. The last most common mistake that I see clothing brand owners making is that they're just outsourcing way too much and they don't have enough resourcefulness, okay? I get people reaching out to me all the time asking, Rob, how do I create a website for my clothing brand? And it's like, when I started, you know, I had absolutely zero idea how to make a website myself. 
but you know, you put your elbows in the mud and you just figure it out. All right. So there's a lot of things when it comes to running a clothing brand, finding manufacturers, figuring out where to print, you know, making t-shirts. And obviously this channel is here to help you. It's here as a guide, right? And I'm, I'm doing my absolute best to help you and make it as easy as possible. But there are certain things that you just need to dig in. Okay. And you just need to figure it out and work your way through. So you know, I don't want to see you, you know, outsourcing every little detail of your clothing brand and thinking that, well, you're not good at this, so I'm going to hire somebody to do it, or I'm not good at this, so I'm going to hire somebody to do it. From the very beginning, real entrepreneurial skills, you need to actually, you know, be willing to learn something new and grind it out from the very beginning. I hope you liked this video here and I hope it gave you more insight into how to run a successful clothing brand. And if you haven't already, check out my free clothing brand marketing masterclass video, okay? It's 100% free to watch. All you have to do to get access is go to www.apparelsuccess.com slash masterclass. You can watch the entire thing for free. And if you've made it to this point in the video, I want to let you know about the closed Facebook group that we have going on for Apparel Success. There's a link in the description below. Follow that link. Join us in the Facebook group. We're a bunch of clothing brand owners all in there to support each other and answer each other's questions. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one. Peace.